Have you ever wondered what the recent developments in Ethereum ETFs mean for the world of cryptocurrency? Let's dive right in. To understand this, we must first unpack what Ethereum is. Born from the mind of Vitalik Buterin, Ethereum was created with a vision to decentralize the internet, enabling developers worldwide to build and deploy smart contracts and decentralized applications. It's not just a cryptocurrency, it's a platform that supports blockchain-based applications utilizing its own native currency, Ether. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, Ethereum ETFs. Recently, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, has delayed a decision on Grayscale's application to convert its Ethereum trust into a spot Ethereum ETF. This doesn't just affect Grayscale, it also impacts other heavy hitters like Franklin Templeton, BlackRock, Fidelity, and Vanek. The SEC, in its wisdom, is taking time to consider the implications of the proposed rule changes and potential concerns. One such concern is the staking feature found in some applications. Staking is a unique aspect of Ethereum, allowing users to actively participate in transaction validation. It's a significant part of the Ethereum ecosystem, but poses certain regulatory challenges. Interestingly, despite Grayscale's successful conversion of its Bitcoin trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF, the firm has seen significant outflows from its funds. Spot Bitcoin ETFs have attracted over $12 billion in net inflows, while Grayscale's GBTC fund experienced $1.6 billion in outflows. So, what does this mean for Ethereum? Well, it's a testament to its significance in the world of cryptocurrency. Ethereum is not just another coin in the digital wallet, it's a trailblazer, shaping the future of blockchain technology and decentralized applications. So, as we see, Ethereum is not just another cryptocurrency, but a significant player in the digital world. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter, the SEC's decision. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, has decided to pump the brakes on a significant move in the crypto world. Grayscale, the world's largest digital currency asset manager, had put forth an application to convert its Ethereum trust into a spot Ethereum ETF, or exchange traded fund. However, the SEC has decided to postpone the decision on this application until June 23rd. This delay isn't just a hiccup for Grayscale. It also affects other major players in the financial world that have submitted similar applications. We're talking about household names such as Franklin Templeton, BlackRock, Fidelity, and Vanek. All of these entities are now left in a state of suspense, waiting to see how the SEC will rule on this matter. Why the delay, you ask? Well, the SEC is taking its time to mull over the proposed rule changes and potential concerns that have been raised. One such concern is the staking feature present in some applications. Staking is a process unique to certain cryptocurrencies, including Ethereum, where users can participate in block creation and earn rewards. It's a pivotal part of the Ethereum network, but it's also a feature that could be seen as a potential risk factor by regulatory bodies such as the SEC. It's worth noting that despite Grayscale's successful conversion of its Bitcoin trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF, the firm has experienced significant outflows from its funds. Spot Bitcoin ETFs have attracted over $12 billion in net inflows, whereas Grayscale's GBTC fund has seen a whopping $1.6 billion in outflows. The SEC's decision has certainly stirred the pot, but what does this mean for the future of Ethereum? The implications of the SEC's decision are far-reaching. The decision to delay the conversion of Grayscale's Ethereum trust into a spot Ethereum ETF is not a mere bureaucratic delay. It's a pause for consideration, a moment to reflect on the potential changes this could bring to the world of cryptocurrency. One of the primary concerns that the SEC might have is the staking feature in some applications. Staking, for those unfamiliar with the term, is a way of participating in the validation of transactions on a proof-of-stake blockchain. In simpler terms, it's like earning interest on your cryptocurrency. The concern here is that this feature could potentially be manipulated, leading to unfair advantages or even fraudulent activity. But what does this mean for Ethereum and the broader world of cryptocurrency? First, it indicates that regulators are taking a closer look at cryptocurrencies and their potential impact on the financial world. This increased scrutiny could lead to more robust and secure systems, but it could also slow down the pace of innovation. Second, it could affect investor confidence. 
The delay has already led to significant outflows from Grayscale's funds. If the SEC ultimately rejects the proposed rule changes, it could cause further uncertainty and volatility in the market. And finally, it could influence the future development of Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. If the SEC approves the proposed rule changes, it could pave the way for more widespread adoption of Ethereum and similar technologies. On the other hand, rejection could force developers to rethink their strategies and possibly even their underlying principles. However, it's crucial to remember that this is not the end of the road for Ethereum. Despite this setback, Ethereum continues to push boundaries and redefine what is possible in the world of finance. Its smart contracts and decentralized applications are still revolutionizing industries, and its potential remains vast. The future of Ethereum is uncertain, but it continues to be a game-changer in the world of cryptocurrency. The SEC's decision, whatever it may be, is just one part of Ethereum's journey. And as with any journey, there will be obstacles, detours, and unexpected turns. But one thing is for sure, Ethereum is here to stay. Scene script. How has the world reacted to the SEC's decision? Let's dive straight into the heart of the matter. The decision by the US Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC to delay Grayscale's application to convert its Ethereum trust into a spot Ethereum ETF hasn't been met with a uniform response. Indeed, reactions are as diverse as the players in the crypto world itself. Grayscale, for starters, is no stranger to this arena. They've been through this before, with their Bitcoin trust. When they successfully converted it into a spot Bitcoin ETF, they must have been hoping for a similar outcome with their Ethereum trust. However, this delay has seen significant outflows from Grayscale's funds. It's a tough pill to swallow considering the success story of their Bitcoin ETF, which has attracted over $12 billion in net inflows. In contrast, their GBTC fund has experienced a staggering $1.6 billion in outflows. But it's not just Grayscale feeling the heat. Other issuers like Franklin Templeton, BlackRock, Fidelity, and Vanek are also in the same boat, their applications similarly affected by the delay. It's like a domino effect. One delay triggering a ripple of responses across the board. The overall market too has shown a reaction. There's a palpable tension, as investors and enthusiasts alike wait to see how this will play out. After all, the staking feature, in some applications, is a potential concern that the SEC is mulling over and this could significantly impact Ethereum's future. In the face of uncertainty, one thing remains clear. The world is watching, and it's waiting. Waiting for the SEC's decision come June 23rd. Waiting to see how this will shape the future of Ethereum, and indeed the entire crypto landscape. Reactions have been mixed, but one thing is clear. The world of cryptocurrency is watching and waiting. So what does the future hold for Ethereum? As we peer into the crystal ball of cryptocurrency, Ethereum is a luminary that cannot be overlooked. Its potential is vast, and its impact far-reaching. The SEC's recent decision to delay Grayscale's application for a spot Ethereum ETF is a bump in the road, but it's far from a roadblock. In fact, it signifies the seriousness with which regulatory bodies are treating Ethereum and cryptocurrency at large. In the future, we can expect to see Ethereum continuing to innovate and push boundaries. The introduction of Ethereum 2.0 with its shift to a more energy-efficient proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, is a testament to this. This evolution could further solidify Ethereum's position as a leading player in the blockchain space, expanding its use cases and broadening its user base. The potential impact of an Ethereum ETF is also worth contemplating. An approval could open the floodgates for institutional investors, leading to increased liquidity and potentially even a surge in Ethereum's price. On the other hand, a denial could serve as a reminder of the regulatory hurdles that still need to be overcome. But Ethereum's future is not solely in the hands of regulators. Its decentralized nature means that it's driven by a community of developers, investors, and users who are continually shaping its path. Ethereum's smart contract functionality, for instance, has opened up a world of possibilities for decentralized finance and NFTs, sectors that are only just starting to scratch the surface of their potential. Only time will tell what the future holds for Ethereum, but one thing is for sure, it's a future we're all eagerly waiting for. In the world of cryptocurrency, change is the only constant. We've navigated the labyrinth of Ethereum, explored the impact of the SEC's decision, and pondered its future implications. Ethereum's significance in our digital world is undeniable, 
and the SEC's decision echoes far and wide. The future of Ethereum may be uncertain, but what's clear is its profound influence on the world of cryptocurrency. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends who are also interested in cryptocurrency, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Stay tuned, folks, because in this fast-paced world of cryptocurrency, there's always something new around the corner.